now that you have planned where we're going, what's the next step? What we've learned is once we plan where we want to go. Once she plans where we want to go. The next step in our process is rallying. Hey y'all, where'd Jimmy and Lisa find us camping? Today's Tuesday Talks. For our viewers is all about routing. Routing is going to look different for everybody. Um, <clears throat> we choose to use RV Trip Wizard. Now there's a lot of other routing tools out there but right so over the years we have used different navigations so navigations. navigations on your phone what you know google maps apple whatever you've got um first of all i would not recommend using google maps or any of those that are on your phone if you have any special requirements for your rig like we're 13 foot six google's not going to tell you that 13 foot six you can't go this through that direction, bridge so. it's going to take you down a road and you're going to start seeing the signs for clearance and you're going to be going oh no we can't fit how do we turn around in the middle of the road because knock on wood we've never been there done that but it's a real thing and i'm sure everybody's seen the videos online of people taking off their <laughs> air conditioners the top of their rigs or their satellite dishes and we're not trying to do that. So once we got a rig that had a height requirement, we started looking for different navigational tools. Um, we've had two different dash mount um, navigations that and were I designed. like those, but the problem with them, I'm running out of window space with our tire monitor system, our rear view, our, um, our camera in the, in the in the front, our like oh, yeah, everything, up everything, everything's in the way. So everything's we, up there. Your your phone because it's hands free and you're not allowed to be on your phone. And so our dash started getting cluttered, and we never really found a dash mount navigation that we were in love with. Even if it was made for RVs or made for truckers, and you could put in all those parameters, we just never were really happy with any of them. Um, and so somebody recommended RV Trip Wizard. Right. And I'm going to probably get it all wrong because there's a program and then there's an app, but they all come together under, I think, the RV Life um, umbrella. name, Umbrella. So the way the system works is you log in, you, you, you have to get an account. It's a, um, I think you pay annually and you go in and you set up your rig. So ours is set up that we have a truck and a fifth wheel. You even, you, there's all kinds of parameters. You can really get it tight specific or you can leave it really broad depending on what your needs are. So ours is set up, the truck, the fifth wheel, the height. Um, the we propane. try to avoid ferries. You put in whether you have propane on board, you can avoid dirt roads, specific heights, specific weight limits. You We're gonna do a whole nother video on on everything that. about that side of it. Um, so stay tuned for that but this is just kind of basically doing a like this is what we use so just to kind of give you the brief overview i know it's tuesday talk so it shouldn't be a real long video but we put in to the program all the parameters for our rig so we know it's going to take us down roads that we're comfortable on under bridges that we're going to fit under so forth and so on um it also keeps track of, we put in our fuel mileage or how, and you can put in how many miles you want to travel a day. There's a lot of stuff, but we put ours in, we're going to leave this point and we're going to go to our final destination. And then we can make stops along the way based on when we want to stop, how many miles we want to go, how many hours, whatever. It will also tell you when you need to stop for fuel. So again, whole nother video, we'll get real specific in that in another video, but for now, just 
So, you know, that's what we're using to route our trip. We're using RV Trip Wizard. We set it all up on the computer. It downloads to the app. When we get in the truck, we just pick, this is the trip I want to go. Once you download it to your app on your phone, it's there. So you don't have to worry about having internet. You don't have to worry about having... Right, it'll download the maps download for that specific there. state or whatever states you're going through so that even if you're in an area that you don't have signal, it will still continue to map you on your way. Um, so that's what we use. I set it all up on the computer. I have all the different trips from point A to point B, point B to point C, C to D, however far along we're going. When we get in the truck, we open the app, go to um, our trips, pick the one we want to take today, hit start, and we're off and running. So that's what we use for routing. I will say um, sometimes I still will look along the way. You know, maybe we need to get out and stretch with the dogs. They start getting antsy. You need to, you know, stop sooner than you planned because they got to go out. Um, you know, if you're traveling with kids, there's all kinds of things that you need to stop unplanned so they're not on my route. I have found apps out there. So like loves, we try to go to the truck stops just because with our height and length, it's easier. We just pull in back where the you know big trucks are and get fuel. It's just an easier stop for us. So I have like the loves app, the pilot oh, yeah. flying J app. I'm sure there's plenty of other ones, but you can actually put your route in there and it'll light up where they are along the way. So, so Lisa's the co-pilot as we're driving down the road when she's not driving. And I, and I basically say, you know, we're driving 300 miles a day give me a stop halfway point and that's where she goes to work and starts looking forward on the app or we're cruising along and and we're on our route we already know where we're going to stop but the dogs are in the back seat and they start whining and carrying on they need to stop it's okay let me find a loves i like loves because most of them have dog parks um but if flying jail work any any truck stop will work but those are just two apps that i have that i use that i like um for along the route i need to stop now kind of things and it's basically it on our route. That's it for routing. Um, and again, we will do a video where we dive more in depth. We'll do a video where we dive depth into the RV Trip Wizard, and we'll do one on the apps that she has on her phone because she has plenty more apps. These are just the two apps we get we use basically to get for point routing. A to point B, so. Right. Um, and then the next step. And what's going to be the next step? Is going to be okay. So we've planned where we're going. We've routed our trip. We've hooked up and we're heading out. We've hit the button to start. It's routing us to our destination. So the next step, we're gonna show you what we've learned about when we get there. How do we pick a good campsite? How do we unhook from the truck? How do we set the rig up once we're in? How do we back in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows the TikTok. We don't do that. So we'll show you guys in the next video how we do it. Because we're not much of dancers, I can't do the, the airplanes and all that kind of that stuff. That doesn't so. mean we haven't been. No, we've done it. We've had our moments. We've had our moment to, in this campground. Yeah, we had a bad we had a bad unhook this last time. But we do pretty much have a science. Um, we have a method to our madness. So that's going to be the next video we're going to share with you once we reach our destination via our route. How we get unhooked, how we pick a good campsite for us, and how we set it all up. So we hope you guys are enjoying these short, maybe this one's a little longer, Tuesday Talks, um, our little series of how we get from point A to point B, what we, what we do when we get the there, what we're learning. There's going to be a lot more of these, so make sure if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring, ring the, the bell, bell so you don't miss the next video. And until the next time you find us fighting, backing up, or whatever out there in the campground. Safe travels, y'all.